Yo, what is up, Odd Proud Crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So this is a video I did not think I would be making due to what happened to this truck right here, but we did get the truck back. However, we're not gonna keep it. So if you guys do wanna make an offer on this truck, it does start up and it does run. Now, of course, it's not really drivable the way that it is, but it, the engine does run, the truck does start up and it, it runs and it high idle kicks in and everything. I mean, it's it still runs. So we already have an offer for two grand from a guy that lives like right down the road. And at this current point, that's the guy we're gonna sell it to unless somebody makes a better offer. The only reason he bought it back is because he knew that somebody out there wanted the truck and we didn't really just wanna see it scrapped. And so we just figured we'd buy it back and give somebody an opportunity to buy it because maybe somebody really wants the 7.3 engine. And the truck does start up and run, so that's awesome. Hit up my dad on Instagram, I'll leave it right here. Um, and basically, yeah, the minimum he's gonna take for it to two grand right now. And then uh, it's just a matter of like, if he gets a better offer within the next like week, then he'll take it. If not, it's just going to the guy that has an offer at two grand who lives literally right around the corner. And he works for a tow truck company so he can just winch it up and take it home no problem. Today's video, what we're gonna be doing is going through a little bit closer and showing you the actual damage on the truck and trying to point out a lot of the stuff that did really go wrong. So of course, if you guys look up here, the headlights are a little bit banged up on the backside. You can't hardly see it, but the brackets and the mounting stuff is a little bit banged up. However, I mean, it looks they look fine from this you know angle but they really aren't in perfect shape. The grill, definitely banged up. It's all twisted and torqued. Um, not really not really in the best shape. This headlight might actually be fine. Um, the hood, completely out of alignment. You can see the gaps. It's all twisted and torqued. The front end, let's see in the front end. Um, there's definitely some parts that are just twisted up. Um, it's, it's hard to pick out some of the stuff, but the front end's just definitely it's definitely just twisted up, torqued, um, and just not not really in the best shape. Let's go on the inside here. Dad said that the dash actually kind of came apart, um, and it kind of shook it loose on both sides. He said it's completely disconnected over there. The key is in the truck. He said that it does fire up. He said it starts up good, which is good to know. The frame does look like it's a little bit, a little bit twisted. Um, minimally, you can kind of see the way the truck sits. Tail lights, of course, all busted out from the impact. Fenders ripped off. Rust back behind there from the bodywork that was in a long time ago. And these fender flares just, of course, they're just going to hold salt and moisture. So that's just something that's just going to happen. Um, the frame, a little bit, a little bit rusty. Okay, a little bit rusty. So basically, what you're buying this truck for, just so you guys know, is pretty much interior parts okay interior parts doors i mean door panels the windows i don't know if you guys need the windows window motors they all work there's an edge tuner hooked up to it there's a quadzilla tuner hooked up to it um let's see let's see i mean there's just there's a lot of stuff that does still work on it in terms of all that kind of stuff if you guys needed any of those parts or maybe you want to buy it and part it out yourself i don't know we're not asking a fortune for it, just because obviously it, it's not really in the perfect shape. Door still opens and closes fine. Um, of course, rockers are rusted, cab corners are rusted. Not that that's the most important thing at this point. This whole thing kind of, kind of dismantled a little bit. Doesn't really want to sit there the right way anymore. Um, Let's just turn that key and let, let it cycle a little bit. I can't see under there, but you can look under the front there. I mean, obviously tires off the rim. Yeah, I mean, it's just a little, it's just a little banged up, you know? It's just not, it's just, it's not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like. Really needs something to do with the hood. This fender needs dealt with. Whole front end, the bumper, grill, headlights, all that crap. The whole bed is shot. Rear end has some issues. Um, I haven't even gotten a good look at like some of the other stuff under there, but let's see if it at least you know, still stirred up. My dad said the other day he came out and just turned the peanut fired up. Now, 
Now, of course, um, <laughs> it's uh, it's freaking cold. Um, this it is actually real temperature out right now. It is, I think, negative something. It's negative something. Um, actual temperature out right now, so it is freaking. It's bitter cold, but the truck does start up. Um, if you guys see my dad's Instagram where you can go and check out the DM, it does start up. He was out here the other day. He's like, I just went out there, and of course it was like in the 30s, almost 40s that day. I just went out there and turned the key to see if it would fire up and turn the key, and it just whew, just lit right up. So, um, yeah, he said a high idle kicked in and everything. There's a video of it on his, on his Instagram page. So we just got Whitey dropped back off after... Uh Having a bad day. She's been sitting out at the record yard for a while. So they just dropped her off, and so I just decided I should have checked into the hood just to make sure, but there was no leaks, nothing that we could see. Um, and so I just went ahead and fired her up, and she took right off. So now she's at high idle. You can tell that the, the exhaust pipe had broke off, so she's kind of loud. But nonetheless, what I'll probably do is just uh, look it up a little bit more, and then just basically try to sell as is. So. If somebody's interested, just whatever the best offer is, and just try to take it and get it out of here. Let somebody else who has the time and the desire to fix up the old girl and go from there. So it's good to have her back. Just one last little look, but she's been a good truck. So praise God. It's all cleaned out on the interior. Of course, it's ready to just get loaded up and pulled out of here. But yeah, like I said, guys, current offers two grand. The guy's like, if you got, he's like, if you'll take two grand, I'll come. I'll just bring you cash. My dad, of course, he didn't say, you know, it's a deal. Um, but he's like, well, I'll give it a little bit of time to see if I, you know, have somebody offer more. If not, I'll take it. But at this moment, that's that's the current offer. So, um, yeah, go hit him up if you guys are interested. I tried to pop the hood and pry it open as much as I could with all my might, and it is just, it's just way too out of whack. We'd have to take a pry bar to it, um, and try to release it from wherever it's pinched up obviously with the fenders all out of whack and the hoods all twisted and the grills all twisted and all that crap but there's there are some good parts on it you know there are some good parts on it there's a light bar hidden in there it's not busted up um, mirrors are good cab lights are good the cab itself is in decent shape other than you know uh, cab corner rust some rocker rust uh, but other than that kind of stuff I mean whatever you know, as it sits, it does start and run. And dad said there were no leaks, surprisingly. He's like, yeah, I started it up, let it kick into high idle and let it run for a little while. And he's like, there were no leaks or anything, which was pretty crazy. Cause I thought at first they said that it had a bunch of leaks, um, spraying some kind of fluid, you know, when they got in the wreck. But my dad's like, well, I don't know if that's true or not, but he's like, I wasn't seeing anything, you know, when he started, when he started the truck up not long ago so yeah here she is though one last look maybe film a video when it actually gets picked up by somebody um, but who knows who knows what's gonna happen all I know is we're not gonna be keeping it and uh, that's the final decision there's just too much work to be done to it and even with the check that they did write us for the truck there's just no way you could take what they gave us to completely redo this thing or swap the engine into a cleaner truck or any of that. I mean, there's just no way. So um, it's just, it's finally time to go. We got about what we would have sold it for anyways, about what they gave us for on the check. Um, luckily, that doesn't always happen. But so at this point, we're just ready to let go and not keep sinking money into it because it's just, uh, there's just too much to do now. <laughs> It, would, it wouldn't even be the same truck after we're done with it anyhow, so no point in starting from scratch. We'd rather just buy a clean truck and, you know, do that instead of dump double the money into it just to put the same engine back in a different truck. Kind of a quick little update on this truck. But keep in mind, guys, we were down to the last 14 days of the OBS F350 7.3 Power Stroke giveaway. Remember, if you are anywhere in the USA 50 states, I will pay to ship the truck to you no matter where you are at. Do not worry about, you know, oh, do I live in Cali or I live in Florida? How am I supposed to cover all these costs if I do win? How am I supposed to come up with like, let's say a thousand bucks to get the truck to me or in travel costs or shipping it or, you know, whatever, um, or a plane ticket and drive it back. Don't worry about that because if you need a plane ticket, I buy it. If you drive up here, I reimburse you for all your fuel receipts and then double that to get the truck home. Um, or if you just want it shipped to you, I can just ship it to you. Or if you're within a reasonable amount of hours, not too crazy far, we can deliver it to you as well. So keep that in mind, no cost to you in terms of getting the truck to you. And it is just, it's a beautiful, beautiful, clean, rust-free, 
beautiful F-350 four-door long bed. Information in the description below. Every $15 you spend on Loud and Proud gear gets you another entry to win. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys rock. Oh, Whitey's looking pretty sad there. But anyways, guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.